Skylar Thomas, Sharkman Reviews here with another video that isn't really about sharks, but it's loosely related. And uh, some of these things are helpful to people out there, as you've told me, so I will share a new one. I have been trying to survive on this Hackintosh for many years now. Uh, due to financial constraints, I couldn't afford the real deal, and I had a friend build me something. Uh, you know, it kind of got me by, but there were a lot of problems and I'm facing the music and having to just buy the real deal but uh, I can't do that um, on the full financial scale that uh, Apple would like you to do so let's look at this monstrosity on the inside that I was dealing with believe it or not this isn't much different than it looks when it's in use some good stuff in here if anyone's in the market for parts, I'm letting them go cheap. This is where my drives were. I already took most of them out. I have not finished Monsters for many reasons, but one of them is that the computer just stops on me whenever I'm in a good flow or I run out of storage, no matter how much storage I add. And expanding on this thing is tough. And like, uh, it crashes on me all the time. Some, I don't know which port is gonna work on what day. Like any of this is a crapshoot. I never know what's gonna happen. I'll tell you what I've decided to do after buying and returning a few things. Um, I got a cheaper version of the new MacBook Pros and I got this Thunderbolt 3 storage case. And the reason I finally went with this is, as you know, I like simplicity. Um, you got one Thunderbolt cable coming out and going to the laptop and you got one power cable I can also have a display port and I can use the other Thunderbolt 3 for a display port forgive my fingernails I do a lot of gardening now and I just don't care if you're offended by my dirty nails because they're pretty much dirty all the time so I'll show you how I did this I am not technical that's why I don't do any uh, camera review videos because I just break cameras. That's why I end up with GoPros instead of the fancy ones. I mean, this is pretty much the summary right here. Get all these cables, that's data, and this is one is power. And then get in here and try and mount your drives to this, which was a real pain in the butt. And then hope that these cables don't all short circuit each other or something or go like that for me it's a no-brainer the simplicity is just worth the cost when you don't have the skills or patience or whatever other uh, shortcomings I have so I'll show you how this worked all right so boom how simple was that? I like it already. Just so happens that the drives I've been using are recommended to go with it. This is a Seagate Iron Wolf 10 terabytes. This has the movie Monsters on it. Turn that over and line it up with the screw holes. Take some of the provided screws screws are in. Boom. It's that easy. Let's turn on the power. Let's wake it. Oh, by the way, it will charge your laptop too through that Thunderbolt. Alright, let's wake up the computer. 
Okay, if you take a look there, monsters showed up. It's right here. And I tell you what, they told me on an instructional video that I had to go to their website and download drivers and management software and stuff like that. But uh, I see the drive and I go into South Africa 20... 17 monsters master chapters and there it is so i can get back to work finally i mean i should probably download those drivers and the management software or whatever but i probably won't because it doesn't look like i have to that's just me that's my style but uh this thing wasn't cheap but i tell you what I'm hoping that I can finally start using my stuff again. Um, and maybe I can sell some footage online or something with the footage I haven't been able to access and slowly pay off the credit card on this thing. But it's just going to be nice to actually be able to work without shit constantly crashing and whatever. And as you can see, I can keep it spanning as long as my credit card keeps working. As long as this is open, I'll give you guys a sneak peek. This is when we're inside the I mean, shark's see? board. Is it? No, but you might see how many protected animals are there. Which, yeah. That's where <laughs> the guy admits yeah. that he has a bunch of dead protected species in their freezer. <laughs> so something else cool is that it's very compatible with different drives. I have a NAS, this is the newer drive that has monsters on it. This thing is so old, it has uh, Great White Lies, my first documentary on it. I uh, should probably replace this drive, but it's going to be a lot easier to transfer the data to a new drive when they're all housed in here. So let's just prove it, and I'll turn it over so you can see. There are different size drives, they're not just uh, the difference between NAS and uh, SATA, but uh, you can see the screws are in different spots, and uh, they provide different screws for different drives. Let's just make sure that they both actually work. So let's put monsters back in first. Look at that, I can do it one-handed. So easy. Uh, it builds my confidence when it's easy. This technology scares me. I got so much footage from so many shark trips and I'm afraid to lose any of it, even the crappy stuff, because every now and then you're like, oh man, I actually could use some crap footage for this project. Alright, so everything's in there. Once again it wakes up the computer because it's actually charging the computer. It shows me which drives are in use. Wow, I'm already uh, halfway filled. Well, that's not what I wanted to see. But I'm gonna say ignore and get this off the screen. Get you off the screen. So all the drives are there. I don't know why it said not compatible. So this is it, Shark Library. And stuff is on there. Let's see if I can load. We got something called Interviews Australia. That's gonna be ancient. It's loading must be updated that's expected all right well it's loading there's an interview I conducted with a guy named Andre in Australia this is uh, 2014 what's uh, this oh, this is a dude that he put lights on his surfboard and goes surfing at night in great white shark waters 
All right, I gotta tell you, I'm kind of stoked that uh, drive bay was not cheap, but uh, trying to go the cheap route wasn't working for me either. And this is pretty simple. I've got all my data directly interfacing with a fairly cheap MacBook. The only thing it really needed was a halfway decent uh, processor and a Thunderbolt 3 cable. Let you take a look at the back. Something else I should mention is that you can daisy chain this, meaning that if I had the money to spend and wanted to, I could basically get a whole nother one of these, connect them to each other like this, and my computer could read all of them going through each other, supposedly without losing speed. And I'm a little nervous to transport it, but this is really solid. I've got it picked up off the ground right now, so. I mean, that's kind of cool. It's going to be nifty. As much as I move around, it's going to happen. It sure feels safer transporting that than transporting this with all the moving parts inside of it. Besides things working now, here's the other reward. I'm going to not have to deal with all of this crap anymore. I mean, something as mundane as a audio dongle because the Hackintosh just didn't work sometimes. Or, you know, even a, had to have a wired keyboard because the Bluetooth wouldn't work. And all these old drives, and I'm finally going to be able to expand efficiently and get rid of cords and get rid of power adapters. And I don't know what I'm going to do with all of my USB 3 cables. Anyone in the market?